Hi guys, welcome back to Pinks 47. Hope you're all right. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I've painted, detailed and built this, which is a new barn from WWS Scenics. One of three new barns actually. But before we get on to building that, so for you guys that aren't aware, next weekend, there's a Worley model railway show on at their club up in Birmingham. I've been invited along to take part in a competition, which I think's five hours. I'm going head to head with Martin from WWS, Tim from Scrapline, and also Guion, who was on the Channel 5 Model Railway Challenge a couple of years ago. So it should be fun. I'm probably gonna do a bit of a live when I'm up there, maybe just have my phone sort of running um, you know when I'm sort of like build, building the diorama we've got we've got to do a diorama that's 200 mil by 200 mil and we're head to head on that so tune in next week probably Saturday afternoon something like that I'm sure I'll be live I'm sure Martin will be live on the WWS Scenix channel as well don't know if the other guys will be going live but I'm sure they'll have some footage and be putting them on various YouTube um, channels I suspect the Wally channel We'll be doing something there as well. We've got a juniors competition running as well. I think it's open to some members of the public or members. I'm not quite sure on that. But there's going to be plenty to see online. There's going to be plenty to see for the people that are going. Hopefully you can join me for that. And I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers, guys. So, one of the new barns that has been released recently from WDO Scenics. I'm going to go with a sliding door barn for this first diorama I'm doing. As you can see, I've already taken the bits out of the sprues. Get a nice bit of baseboard, which is I'm going to put the diorama onto. And what I'm going to do with this is use some bits and bobs I've got left over from a Sherman tank. You may remember an old video of mine where I scratch built this steam shovel and I rob the tracks and mon modified them from the Sherman tank kit. What I'm going to do is build this barn, weather it up. I may switch some stuff around and actually have the detail on the inside. So when you're looking at the inside of the detail, you can see some of the brickwork. Or I may even use one of the other kits and glue these back to back so you've got detail on the inside and the outside. The remaining bits of the Sherman tank I'm going to put inside as some sort of relics, some World War II relics that are now sat in this barn. So I'm probably going to build the turret, rust it. Not sure about the body, possibly. I've got the guns and some other bits and bobs in there. So that's the detailing stuff. First of all, I'm going to get this together. I'm not going to film getting it together, it's dead simple. Martin didn't even send me some instructions, so I'm going to look online, grab the instructions off there, put this together. Then I'll have a go at painting it, show you how I'm going to paint it, sort of weather the roof, put some grout or some fillers in this block work. So just, just so you can see that this, this has been based on blocks, not brick. If you're thinking it's overscale, the, these will be block works that you get on the bottom of the cow shed, essentially what this is. I'm going to try and paint the timber as well. I may even damage some of the timber, put some character into it. Perhaps make these sliding doors look galvanised, so do them sort of weathered silver and greys. That's the sort of ideas I've got. But I'll get it knocked up and then I'll be back. So that's not too bad to put together. I can appreciate that might look a little bit daunting, but it's really easy to get together. These trusses that go across, they fit in really easy. They're not too tight, so you're not putting any pressure on them. Sometimes I know other laser cut kits, this can happen, but these just fit in just right. So it goes together quite well. That's still quite wet, as you can see. I think this is the point where I'm going to modify the barn a little bit. So without looking at the instructions online, they are available on the website. I may put the detail on this, this side and concentrate the pictures 
and the diorama would be concentrated on what's inside it. So I'm thinking of putting this on this way, the back piece. Again, I'm going to put it on that way. And I think on the outside then I may just cover this with vegetation. And then when you're looking inside the barn, you can see the blocks. The back of the diorama is the back of the diorama, so you're never going to see it. So I think I'm going to put that that way. I may even put one sliding door on. We'll have both sliding doors open. You can see quite a lot in there, actually, like that. And then the final side. I may actually put that one with the detail that way. So you're looking in from this sort of angle. We'll have a think as I go along. We'll move on to doing this stage now. And I could think about what it's going to look like on the board. Doing some paintwork on the roof panels. Should be good. So while the structure is drying, I'm going to have a little play painting these block, block works up. I'm going to do some black, white, maybe some silver as well. I'm going to do a test, see how I get on with it. Again, I'll probably make it up a little bit as I go along. Majority is going to be white. I'm using this Valley Ho range. This is now available on the new website, the modelpaintshop.co.uk. I'm probably going to go with sort of four to one, as you can see there. That's still maybe a little bit too much black, but we'll see. So I've finished all the block work now. I'm very pleased with how that's came out. Purposely left some pointing out just for a bit of interest and some streaking on it. Next, I'm going to paint the timber up. I'm going to use a combination of concrete dust, black soot, some raw umber and some matte lacquer. And also, after doing some homework, and thanks to Phil, Phil Griffith, who's one of the moderators on the WWS Helps Discussions and Tips Facebook page, I had a good chat with him about, I was thinking of doing this in Galvanised, but we figured for this, this particular barn, the red oxide would be better. So this type that I'm doing at the minute. The next barn I do, which will probably be in another couple of weeks, is the half open sided one that would be a galvanized one which would be nice and easy just to spray it with aerosol silver i don't have any aerosol sort of red oxide so i've got to individually paint these bits now obviously i'm not going to film that so once i get that painted i can then move on to putting the kit together mm.
Right, so while the frame and the carcass is drying, I'm gonna move on to painting these. I've been studying some pictures of this sort of material and to me it looks like it's uh, you know like an asbestos sort of type ridged roof rather than a tin roof so I'm going to mix up black white a bit of green as my sort of ground coat and then have some blotches of white patches on there and then these like little green growths in places hopefully it should look quite good for underneath I've just painted grey you're not really going to see much under there in between the framework so I'm going to move on to doing that next before I put the roof on.